here's a magna box five tube AA5 radio from most likely the early to middle 60s um, it's Fiesta I did clean the set up a little bit it had major cigarette tar it still has some left this is a model R006 I was uh, unable to find any information on this set online um, I may have to go through my schematics and see if I have one but it's a uh, all-american 5 with uh, the typical miniature tube lineup 12 BA6 AB6 you got two 12 BA6s and a BE6 and 35 C5 and a 35 W4 so this may be a uh, two gang tuner or three gang tuner excuse me so anyway we'll demonstrate what the problem is this one was sent in for repair this is another one of those um, sets that a good friend of mine got at a uh, estate sale and the woman had a big collection of radios and so on my latest trip to Ohio um, I picked up this set along with a bunch of other sets and that I'll be doing videos on when we get to them so let's get started and see what what's going on with it like we got our uh, characteristic trademark filter home most of the time anytime you turn the volume down you still got a filter you still got a home it's usually a filter capacitor or short in one of the tubes I hear a signal coming in that tells us we got something decent to start with so let's pull the back off of it and see what we can do with it and here's the chassis it's just a typical AA5 setup with a printed circuit board and we have a uh, sticker here on this uh, IF can R30101 chassis from January of 1965 so this is a Vietnam era set and um, we got our uh, filter capacitor here it looks like one of those cheap general industries capacitors and it has pretty much most of its original tubes it looks like we have a replacement Sylvania audio output tube so maybe this is a fairly low hour set or either it's got a bunch of weak tubes one or the other so I think the first thing we need to do is replace this filter capacitor and if I can see right it looks like we have a 70 microfarad and a 50 microfarad probably about 150 volts I would imagine can't really see down in there too well because of course they put the capacitor in there where the numbers are facing forward see if we can't get that capacitor changed and check these resistors and see if they've gone up in value mm, 
not much to this set probably not any more than about five or six resistors in there and uh, thankfully looks like most of our capacitors are disk capacitors so probably not a lot of caps to change in here besides our main filter capacitor okay we got our uh, filter capacitors replaced we got a um, 47 microfarad for the uh, 50 microfarad side and a 68 microfarad for the 70 microfarad side so um, I guess the next thing we need to do is check the tubes I've checked the resistors and everything seems to check out and checking the 35C5 audio output tube about 70 percent about 72 percent or 72 I always say percent because it just goes from 1 to 100 not bad and checking the 35W4 rectifier tube about 78 that's pretty good especially for this tube tester that's pretty good okay checking the 12AV6 um, this is a replacement Sylvania tube oh yeah that's pretty strong about 79.80 nothing wrong with that all right, checking the 12 BE6. That's 72, not too bad. Holding steady. And checking the 12 BA6. Oh yeah. Well, that one's dropping off like a rock. Yep, that one's done. And I pulled this Japanese 12BA6 out of my junk and it looks pretty good, about 74%, 74. No drop off. Holding steady, so we'll go with that one. And checking the other 12 BA6 this is the RF amp over by the tuner and it's about dead too it's an original magna box tube and it's dropping off to down about 15 yeah it's dead okay found this one in my box of tubes um, I don't know the name rubbed off of it but checks good about 75 holding steady so we'll go with that one okay yeah I did want to mention that this did have this does have a three gang tuner on it seems to be a pretty good performer even with them weak tubes in it so um, basically in a nutshell we just you know we changed the filter capacitor and replaced two weak 12 BA6 tubes so I think we're ready to go back together okay we're all back in the cabinet playing got this uh, front face up here cleaned up and all that nicotine off of it and this knob looks sort of yellow because the uh, the uh, silver plating has worn off of the plastic and it works pretty good it picks up quite a bit of station got a lot of DX rolling in the night but seems to pick all that stuff up pretty good Environment. Looks like a life of rewarding work could pay off for a lifetime. Your personal six. I'm with Larry. The radio silence. 
concerning Kobe Fleetwood. Using ZipRecruiter about three months ago, right from the start, you could tell it was going to make hiring a lot easier. You think you can rope a dope or hide from them? That's not going to work. You got a man up. Or a woman up. On the pick, Adelia Lewis. Home run. Adelia. Can't give you one final that's great for the Yankees. Tampa beat to tr Toronto 6 2. Well, the Yankees gained a game on Toronto. Minnesota beat the Stout. The 650 WSM playing the Opry tonight. When you live in North Carolina, the rich, fertile heartland is just a small part of your station out of North Carolina. WSB 24 hour traffic center. Downtown There's 750 out of Atlanta. 7585 northbound between MLK and 14th Street. Four left lanes are blocked. Slow and going that area. Also uh, on the uh, west freeway, I 20 westbound between Lee and Holmes. Two right lanes. Mm -hmm. At blinds.com today. 20% discount. It doesn't go well. No one actually expected to do well. Into the behind the front. We clear and turn cooler again at tomorrow night with a breeze low near 60. That Thursday will be the first another stretch of nice days, sunny and great for Thursday with the high 75, lower humidity. Another nice one Friday with sunshine, high again about 75. Saturday sun will mix with a few clouds, a little warmer with highs near 80, but it should be a good day overall. Nicer than Sunday for sure as another front moves in Sunday to bring us clouds, a couple of showers and a thunderstorm, high 78. I'm meteorologist Frank Strait in the WCBS Weather Center. It is 75 degrees over at LaGuardia. 14 mile an WCBS out of New York. Over at Teterboro, 10 mile an hour southerly winds there. Is that hurting me? No. Is he hurting random people out there? No. I support his decision. At the end of the day. Are you sent the word? I believe that we can begin to spiral up if... But my good friend's 1965 Magnavox Fiesta, chassis number 30101, model number R006, playing again. Hopefully, good for another couple of decades. Thanks for watching.